What's up witches and warlocks? Puma Fist here. Another lazy Sunday rant. And unfortunately, I just don't give a shit about anything right now. So <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna meander through this a little bit. Alright. So first and foremost, uh, uh, Eric July, right? Uh, it's it's amazing watching all these people like EBS and Comicsgate fucking turn against him. Uh, simply based on the fact that Eric July turned out a product, right? He said he was going to deliver something, and he did. Now, whether it's good or not, that's another whole can of worms, but that's not the issue. The thing is, is that Eric July actually is pushing the product out that he said that he was going to give people. And Comicsgate is fucking furious about that because they can't do that. Because they're lazy and they don't want to work. <laughs> okay? So, there's, there's my... Uh, there's my only endorsement of Eric July. Is that he actually gave you the, the turd that he promised he would. So, that being said. Um, oh my god. These, these motherfuckers. Just, uh, they, they're, they're totally attacking Eric July. Out of selfish reasons. It's not because he's a bad businessman. And that his product sucks. No, it's, it's that he didn't endorse them. He didn't endorse Comicsgate. He doesn't want to have anything to do with those guys. So they're all fucking pissed off. I mean, it shows you how petty and fucking narcissistic these people are. EBS thinks that, uh, you know, oh, I, I'm, I'm the uh, progenitor of Comicsgate, which he's not. It was actually Richard C. Myers. And, uh, you know, this is my thing, and I'm the king of the internet fucking comic book geeks who are making independent comic books. And you have to kiss my ring. Fuck that shit. Eric July totally pissed in his face. And uh, EBS can't fucking handle that. And instead of EBS knuckling down and trying to make his own fucking books better, he's not doing that. He's still just pulling the same scam he always has. <laughs> Promising you a bunch of shit and not delivering for several years and you dumb pay pigs keep fucking paying them It's the same fucking cycle over and over and over again, and you know what it's 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 tiresome I've gotten to the point now where uh, it's man. I, I, I just don't care about this shit. I don't <laughs> I don't give a fuck What any of these dumbasses are fucking doing it's boring at this point how many how many times can you keep stepping on the same rake uh, you know, and that's it, talking about myself. How many times am I going to get invested and make a video about how dumb these fucking idiots are being when they're just going to keep doing it? It's all about the internet drama. That's what it is. That's what it is. That's what sells. That's how they're making their money. I mean, er, even Eric July's doing it. His comic book is shit. Even though he had like Chuck Dixon work on, uh, you know, the whatever the fuck they're called, the Alpha Core. It still fucking sucks. Like, nobody cares about the product. They're, they're, they're selling you uh, the, their personalities and hype and false promises and shit like that. Has nothing to do with actually trying to create real fucking work or do anything substantial. So, you know, I'm, I'm just fucking done with this shit. And then you got a fucking comic book hut. That fat little motherfucker. I just watched a video of his... Well, I skimmed through it because it's long and fucking boring. The great one, the people's champion. That fucking fat little fucker. That little fucking goblin. Uh, dude, he was making fun of Heels Babyface, which... That's fine. Heels Babyface is a fucking fag. I don't like him either. I don't like uh, Nerd Roddick. I don't like any of these motherfuckers, right? They're all a bunch of pieces of shit. But for fucking Comic Book Hut to make fun of uh, Heels Babyface for losing some weight and saying that's the reason why he's angry. Who the fuck are you talking to, fat-ass fucking hamburglar motherfucking comic book hut? Dude, you're the fattest of them all. <laughs> you're even fatter than Ethan Van Fat. <laughs> so who the fuck are you talking about people's weight, man? Get the fuck out of here. Anyway, like I said, it's all just a bunch of nonsense. And, and to be honest with you, I'm fucking tired of it. So, let's switch gears here a little bit. I'm going to talk about something I want to want, uh, talk about, you know? It's the Lazy Sunday rant, the Puma Fist Lazy Sunday rant. Let me talk about something here. Alright, so currently, I'm running a D20 Modern game. 
you know, it's based off the uh, 3.5 D&D, all that shit, but it's set in modern times, right? Uh, it's not a great system, but it's, it's not bad. Uh, and it works for uh, kind of, you know, creating all different kinds of games. Anyway, the game that I'm currently running uh, is uh, based off of Stalking the Night Fantastic Bureau 13. I don't know if you guys are familiar with gaming or not, you know, like old systems and stuff like that. But Bureau 13, Stalking the Night Fantastic, is an excellent fucking game. I highly recommend it. Uh, I would be running that system, except the people that I'm playing with don't know it, and I don't have the time to fucking teach them. So we're just using modern D20. Or D20 modern, whatever the fuck. Whatever. Anyway. So, problem players. I've got this one player. It doesn't matter what game we're fucking playing. This guy wants to be the murder hobo fucking demon summoner. <laughs> It doesn't matter. I've, I've played in a couple of games with him where I was a player not DMing, and now I'm running this game where I'm the DM, and he always does the same fucking thing. Wants to be a fucking evil demon summoning fucking murder hobo. So, uh, in last night's uh, session, while these guys are, you know, supposed to be bureau agents, they're top secret, elite government agents that investigate the paranormal, right? And they got a bunch of sophisticated, like, spy gear and stuff like that. The only rule for the Bureau is, is, like, don't get caught. Fucking cover your tracks. You know? And this fucking guy, this fucking guy, the last two sessions I've had, the first session, uh, he, he thinks he's fucking smart. He, uh, he was uh, investigating a, uh, a grave site, <laughs> okay, uh, in the middle of the night in the fucking snow with a couple of other players and leaves obvious footprints in the snow going to it uh, and knowing that the local sheriff has been kind of perusing around the area uh, because there's been some weird shit going on and the motherfucker just doesn't care oh there's no cameras out here nobody will notice so he ends up getting fucking stopped by the fucking sheriff and the fucking sheriff you know is like hey what are you doing out here and the motherfucker's dressed in a fucking priest costume with a shovel and a goddamn 12 gauge. The other players were actually smart and fucking took off and ran and hid in the fucking woods. This dumb motherfucker decides he's gonna go up and talk to the sheriff dressed like that and pretend like he's a fucking federal agent. Uh, dude, <laughs> as, a, as a game master, how do, you, how do you deal with the stupidity of shit like this, right? So, uh, you know, the Bureau, they've got some strings they can pull and shit like that. You know, uh, Bureau 13, fucking ultra-secret government organization, but they, they can pull some strings, so I kind of let that slide. Anyway, uh, that, that's neither here nor there. Uh, uh, last night's session, uh, I've got these guys. Uh, they're working a case at a, uh, a fucking casino where there's a shape-changer who made a wish after catching a leprechaun, getting granted a wish, that, uh, that he could fucking win any game that he plays. So this guy has been going across country, clearing out fucking casinos, right? Just raking up fucking monumental amounts of cash. And he can change his appearance so he can walk in, hit a table, uh, you know, fucking uh, make 10 grand, walk out, change his appearance, walk back in as somebody else so he can't be fucking caught, right? Anyway, so... The guys are, are working on this fucking case. And they're actually doing pretty well, even, even this problem player, right? But as, as a random encounter I had uh, uh, at one of these casinos, uh, there were some prostitutes. The prostitutes ended up breaking into their bureau vehicle. Now, if you guys know anything about Stalking the Night Fantastic, the bureau gives you the Winnebago. <laughs> the Winnebago is a high-tech, sophisticated piece of machinery, right? Uh, it's got, like, uh, AI on board. It can drive itself. Uh, it's got crime labs in it. Uh, you know, and it's got a bunch of sophisticated shit that it can do as, like, um, uh, you know, protecting itself from being burglarized or, uh, it, it, you know, it can uh, uh, link up to, like, OnStar. So if you're being followed by the police, it can fucking shut down their, uh, their fucking uh, vehicle via OnStar. It can do all kinds of stuff like that. So anyway... As a random encounter, I had a couple of prostitutes, uh, while these guys were investigating this case, break into this vehicle, right? <laughs> Once they get inside the vehicle, and these were random rolls, okay? Is it just random rolls? 
uh, uh, the vehicle actually activated itself. Uh, you know, it's a uh, defense systems. Once they were inside, sealed the doors, gas comes out, knocks him out. One of the fucking prostitutes falls and hits her head and cracks it open and she's dead, right? So now this is a scenario for the players to have to deal with. Oh my God, there's one unconscious hooker and a dead hooker in our vehicle, right? <laughs> so what does the problem player do? Uh, he decides he's gonna stuff them down the chemical toilet <laughs> that's on board the vehicle. Now, like I said, it's a sophisticated piece of machinery. Uh, it basically, anything that goes into the toilet gets dissolved. So this guy is fucking stuffing a couple of hookers down the fucking toilet. One of them's still alive, just unconscious. How do you fucking deal with people like this? I'm at, I'm, you know, I've, I haven't DM'd in a long time. This is like my first time DMing in like, you know, fucking 20 years. Uh, it's been a long fucking time. And, uh, and I'm not exactly sure how to deal with these fucking psychopaths, like murder hobo psychopaths. So anyway, that's where I'm at. You know, uh, they, they kind of figured out the case. They, they, you know, they, they kind of figured out what was going on. Everything was okay. But I've got this guy who's supposed to be a good dude fucking stuffing people in a fucking chemical toilet. Prostitutes, right? Granted, they broke into the vehicle. You can make the argument they deserved it. One of them was still alive. That's a horrible way to fucking go. Like, what the fuck? How do you deal with murder hobos? How do you deal with fucking murder hobos? Anyway, that's, a, that's my fucking long-winded, rambling, fucking bullshit rant for today. Um... God, I'm trying to get myself motivated to get back into talking about comics, Kate, and all these guys. But honestly, folks, I really don't give a fuck. So if you have any suggestions for shit you would like uh, me to talk about, if you care at all, if you care about my opinion and want to hear what the fuck I'm going to talk about, give me something else to think about, man, because fucking comics, Kate, and fucking Eric July is fucking boring. It really is. It's fucking boring. Anyway, that's all I got for today. Puma fist out. Pfft.